Good evening, I'm Michelle Lee. Coming up on News 6 at 6, guilty on all charges. That's a jury's verdict on the trial of Lawrence Montanero in Hibbing. Andy Skugman is there and we'll talk live with the prosecuting attorney. And we'll also tell you about a group of students who are making a large contribution to charity. Details next on News 6 at 6. You're watching KBJR. The news starts now. Six with Michelle Lee, Carol Hall's weather, and Mike Hart with sports. Now, News 6 at 6. Thanks for joining us. The jury returned this afternoon in Hibbing to find Lawrence ways to love the earth in an environmentally conscious way. Governor Arnie Carlson's budget has been blasted by northern Minnesota, but a growing movement of southern Minnesota farmers is upset as well. Dave Gentry reports farmers feel victimized. A shift in property taxes away from the Twin City suburbs will hurt northeastern Minnesota, but it will hit state farmers harder. Farm leaders claim Governor Arnie Carlson's budget is unfair to rural Minnesota. They're very concerned. Uh, they're going through a very difficult economic time. Milk prices are disastrously low, grain prices down, soybean prices low. So uh, they're struggling now just to make uh, ends meet, and many of them are actually losing money. So uh, this is certainly not a time to increase taxes. David Center of the American Agriculture Movement is traveling the state to whip up opposition to the Carlson plan. Center says additional property taxes hurt but increases in excise taxes like milk, gas, and tobacco hurt more since the farmer is charged both as producer and consumer. Well, I think uh, they're frustrated. Uh, they're actually frustrated with uh, nearly all politicians. Uh, you elect somebody saying no new taxes and prosperity for everyone, and then all of a sudden they're saying we're going to raise your real estate taxes and increase excise taxes. So it's not what they was expecting, and uh, I think uh, they're very frustrated right now. The American agriculture movement wants federal and state government to reduce taxes and concentrate efforts on creating more jobs. They would like to export more finished farm products like powdered milk and cornmeal because they bring in more money than raw grains. But most of all, they want to form a coalition with other rural areas to have a more powerful voice in government. In Duluth, Dave Jench, News 6. The panic of night emergencies can get in the way. Out of all our new things, in fact, get several. 